If your health care provider has told you that you have candida fungus, but all the medications and treatments that you've been provided, maybe even changing your diet and such, if none of that has helped much or at all, then you may have huge emotions that are blocking the healing of that candida fungus. This is Colleen Flanagan, The Emotions Whisper, and I want to thank newsletter subscriber Nancy for asking us to make this video. And uh, I've had candida fungus, and it can be very pesky to get rid of. And that was before I knew about the emotions that were at the bottom. And now that I know more about it and think about that part of my life, yeah, there were emotions <laughs> at the bottom of that. Candida fungus uh, is naturally occurring in the body. However, it usually stays in balance with the uh, acidic and alkaline pH balance of the body. But when you get out of balance and your immune system starts becoming repressed due to stress, birth control, pills, antibiotics, anything that represses the immune system, sometimes that fungus can get out of control. But that's just the physical chemistry going on in your body. The emotional situation could be the root cause of that stress. And author Deb Shapiro, in her book, Your Body Speaks Your Mind, says these are some of the questions you should ask yourself if you have candida fungus to be able to identify what happened and how you can clear out those emotions. She says that candida in the digestive system suggests you're being psychologically or emotionally invaded by someone or something and you feel out of control. Sort of like your immune system, right? It also implies that your normal living environment has become upset or out of balance, allowing other energies to enter and make themselves at home. She suggests you ask yourself these questions. Are you feeling particularly insecure? Is something eating away inside of you? Are you out of contact with your inner strength and resilience? And what is needed to regain your stability? Now, if you have candida infections in your skin, our, our skin is our largest organ, and it protects us from the outside world. So when you feel threatened by the outside world, it could be one person, two people, a group of people, or the entire world, because it's sort of scary out there these days, right? Then that could be another fear that you have, fear of not being safe in the outside world. And then candida can also affect the sexual organs. And again, Deb Shapiro in her book, Your Body Speaks Your Mind, suggests that you ask yourself these questions. Is intimacy giving rise to conflict? Are you being intimate with the right person? Do you feel sexually abused or exploited? Are there hidden feelings of guilt or shame or repressed sexual longings? Is something affecting you so deeply that it's breaking through all of your defenses. So you might have several things going on. If you have the candida in your digestive tract, then that could be about control issues. And in the sexual organs, it could be about uh, fears about sex or sexual repression or some maybe feeling invaded. So all you have to do is, number one, write down when the candida infection started and what was happening right before that time that might have matched any of these emotions that we've been talking about on this video. Even if the situations that caused you so much stress and emotional pain are over, your body still may be holding on to those emotions and it's important to clear them out. And then after you have listed possible emotions, the situations, then we're just going to clear them out. And you do that by clearing your governing vessel meridian endpoint as shown in this image here. And just start tapping under your nose above your upper lip. You might find some areas that find really feel really good to tap on and just start talking about releasing everything you've written down. That could be the emotional roots of the candida. And always remember when you do this kind of work, if something comes to mind, no matter how weird it is, uh, how you think, oh, that couldn't be it, that is exactly what your subconscious mind is providing you as a clue when you're doing this kind of work. So you just start tapping away. We'll just do a little example here to say, I now release all my fears about being insecure. I release my fears that my life has spiraled out of control and I can't digest all these things that are happening to me in my life. I release my fear that I've lost my inner strength and resilience. I release all my fears that I'll never regain stability. Again, my life spiraling out of control, that I feel perhaps invaded by other people in my life. I let go of all these fears that the bad times will never end, causing all this stress. I release any and all fears about uh, sexuality and having sex with someone or even just thinking that nobody wants me and that that part of my life has gone out of control and will never be enjoyable or satisfying. I let all that go now and take a nice deep breath in and out. And, of course, put your hand down and relax. And if you were to do this work just a little bit at a time, even every day, 
and start responding to the thoughts in your mind that are coming up as to the events or the people or situations that caused you stress, then you may be able to clear out the remaining emotions about this candida. That's how simple it is. I've done it on myself and clients around the world. And I can also do email readings if you'd like and let you know the emotional roots of your candida. Thank you so much for watching today. I wish you extreme health in every part of your life. Namaste.